and welcome back guys to the next episode of this Bayern FIFA 21 career mode. Today we started off looking at some signings that occurred in the transfer window. Uh, we are using the realism mod, so these transfers should look more realistic, uh, more like real life than normal FIFA, where it's just nothing but big money deals constantly. As you can see here, there's a lot of reasonable deals, loan deals, uh, player swaps, and uh, just generally lower amounts of money spent on players. So, match day 18, we kick it off against Hoffenheim at Sanderson Park. We need to keep winning to keep Leipzig at bay, and that's what we are aiming to do today. So, six minutes in, Lewandowski with the ball in his feet. Finds Muller, who has played great for us all year, as you guys have noticed. Back to Lewandowski, shoots, and what a save there. Keeps it nil-nil. 12 minutes in, Byron in possession. Pavar plays it forward to Muller. Looking for an opening there. Lewandowski, beautiful ball to Sané. Gets in the box. Might have a chance here. Cuts it back. Shoots, goes low, and the keeper reacts and keeps that one out of the net. 35 minutes in, Hoffenheim in possession. Don't like when they are able to dribble so much around our net with ease. Shielding gets in the box. And great tackle from Davies. Cessignon, 85 minutes in, looking to send that one in. Can't find a way. Gets past the defender. Chucks it up and hits the post. Hits the crossbar. And that one stays out. Last seconds of this match here. Davies so tired. He makes the run in. Nice pass to Muller. He shoots. And that one is saved. And Keeper gets his hands on it. And there is your final whistle. This one ends in a nil-nil draw. Only one point on the day. We gave up no shots. No shots on target for Hoffenheim. Yet we end in a scoreless draw. And there's your player of the match for Hoffenheim. So we get an offer for uh, for Kimmich from Barcelona for 120.8 million pounds. And we have to say no to it. So we have a couple of guys we are going to work on uh, signing. Pedro de la Vega, uh, winger, midfielder type, uh, youngster, nice overall already, good potential. And let's see if we can make some kind of deal for him and bring him in to the team. So we're going to go ahead and offer 29 million what he's valued at to start and go from there. 19 year old, already a 76 overall, and they want they're fine with the transfer fee, but they want a 4% sell-on clause. We're going to cut that in half. Uh, see if they accept that. Not that 4% is crazy, um, but if we can lower it to to two, why not? So we get that transfer offer done. Now we're going to move on to CDM Sandro Tonali from AC Milan uh, the youngsters moving up the ranks pretty quick great uh, defensive midfielder 78 overall 20 years old only gonna get better 38 million is his valuation that's what we're gonna offer and see if we can agree on that and they do so great so we get to move on we spent uh, what 29 and 38 65 or 67 million I'd say that's a pretty good deal for two great players right there. Middle defensive midfielder and a right winger who can play both sides, I believe. So let's see if we can get him signed up. Uh, Four-year deal, we accept that. No transfer, uh, no release clause, I'm sorry. We accept that. And he's currently making 8300 a week. I'm sure he's going to want a big uh, increase on that. So we're going to knock him up to 25000 Signing bonus of 100 and see if that's good enough to bring him in. And he wants 33 and a half <laughs> a thousand a week. Uh, we'll go ahead and offer him 30 and a half and a 250,000 signing bonus. So at least they didn't storm out and they gave us a chance to counter offer. And they are. Uh, dead set on that 33 and a half thousand pounds a week. So we go ahead and accept it. We have so much in our wage budget already. Doesn't really affect us too much. 
So now let's get Tonali signed up. Probably will be a similar deal. Uh, well, he's currently making 50000 a week at AC Milan. He wants a sporadic role. We're good with that. Uh, probably another four-year deal. Tie the two players together. And uh, we still have $26 million, well, $25 million in the signing, uh, in the transfer budget. So, But we probably won't make another move as we already spent six, almost $70 million. Uh, and I'm trying to keep it somewhat realistic here. So 58000 a week and $450,000 signing bonus. And he takes it. So there we go. Two new players added to the squad will join us here shortly. And next up, we take on Wolfsburg, which will be a good match for us there. So there you go, Tonali and a few other uh, kind of small deals. You don't, you're not going to see really, uh, I guess uh, only we are the big deals. Giroud is heading to Leipzig on a free transfer. So that's a good move for them. They are really going to battle us here uh, going towards the top of the Bundesliga. And a lot of low-level deals there. Nothing too crazy. Here's the transfers we've done. And we we haven't spent too much. And we sold Hernandez for 65.8. Uh, so he kind of funded a good bit of our uh, transfer work on the season. So here we are, match day 19, the Volkswagen Arena to take on Wolfsburg. So we pick it up early on, four minutes in. Bayern on the attack. Oh, Muller in the box, shoots, and finds the back of the net. Top right corner, and there we go. Early on, 1-0 Bayern. Hopefully this continues to go down this way. Uh, 17 minutes in, Wolfsburg on the attack. we got to find some kind of way to stop him here. We come up, can't get it, though. Nice dribbling the shot, and Noya makes the nice one-handed save to kick, that, to kick that over the crossbar there. 29 minutes in. Davies loses the ball. What was going on there? They get in the box. This is going to be a great chance. And another save by Noya. Keeps it 1-0. 33 minutes in. Goretzka bringing it up. Shoots it out over to Coleman. Coleman is ready. Kicks it back inside. Beautiful pass. Lewandowski who shoots. But a save is made. And it stays 1-0. 48 minutes. Bayern on the attack again. Sané out to Pavard. Sends the cross in, but it's knocked out for a throw. Throws it into Sane. Pass over to Muller. Finds Kimmich. Into Lewandowski. Tries to beat his man. Oh, terrible pass on their end. Pass to Coleman. He shoots and scores. And 51 minutes in. Bayern double up their lead. 2-0. And this is looking good for Bayern. Sane passes it forward to Muller. Up forward to Goretzka. Finds Lewandowski. Fights off the defender. And they are backing up from... Oh, great pass to Muller. And that's a goal. And there you go. 3-0 Bayern. 56 minutes in. This one is over. And there is the final whistle. Another three points for Bayern. And another clean sheet for Neuer. The manager shake hands. And we go back home. So, pretty even game stats-wise. Performance. Of the game, Thomas Muller, two goals on the day. Great showing from him. He's pr been pretty much uh, rock solid all season long. So there we go. Tonali is brought in and De La Vega for $29 million. So a couple of good signings ready to get them in on the action. Uh, will be fun to use them. Another offer for Zula. And we reject that from Leicester City. And our youth squad monthly report. Let's see what the youngsters are up to. Uh, poll, 43 overall right now. Uh, probably not going to cut it. Uh, Berger, good jumping, sprint speed. He has some nice looking stats. We'll keep him around for now. Uh, Hanlon, agility, balance, acceleration is good. Herman, 57 overall. He's increased by one. Uh, Soderberg's going up to a 54. Still 15, so we can't bring him in. And the 15-year-old striker, center forward, uh, working his way up from a 52. So here is your transfer deadline day deals. Uh, pretty lackluster affair. A lot of low-level deals, free transfers, uh, some loans and whatnot. I guess teams just kind of shoring up their um, 
weak spots, I guess you could say, and not really looking for that big, big flashy signing that uh, is so often the case in FIFA. Uh, we end up seeing basically all the stars end up somewhere else uh, over and over again. And let's see. We have some more youth squad intake. And frankly, they are not up to snuff. So we might have to look at getting rid of that scout because he is not bringing in the guys. So three points up over Leipzig. We are sitting in first place 16 2 and 1. And here is the rest of the table uh, in the relegation zone Augsburg, Stuttgart, and Bielefeld. And let's see Dortmund in third. And. Borussia Mönchengladbach in the last Champions League spot. Uh, Stats-wise, let's see what we have. 21-15 and 15 for Lewandowski, 16-12 and 12 for Muller, 10-5 and 5 for Coleman, Goretzka, 7 goals, 6 assists, Kimmich, 6-5, six 6-8 and, five. Uh, six and eight for Chupa Moting in only 14 appearances, Sané, 5-8, and eight. Costa, 5-2, and 2-8 two. Two and for Gnabry, Tolisso, 2-2, two and two. A lot of good showings. Our team is pretty solid all the way around. Um, I guess defensively is the only one I'm not too happy about. But they're, I guess ratings-wise, but playing-wise on the field, um, they are playing great. We've given up minimal goals, and uh, they are rock solid. And there we go. That is the squad. Good-looking stats all around. And our league leaders, Lewandowski, 15 goals, him and Playa. Tied with 15, Lewandowski with 12 assists, and Muller with 9. Lead the Bundesliga there, and Neuer with 13 clean sheets in 18 matches uh, is really great. So that's it for this episode. Remember to tap that like button and subscribe. Comment in the section below, and until next episode, you guys take care.